In this session, we will discuss representing real-life situation involving exponential function. Let us define first what an exponential function is. An exponential function is defined by this equation. f of x is equal to b raised to x, where b is not equal to 1, and b is, of course, not equal to 0. So this is y is equal to b raised to x. Now, we have two formulas to be considered in representing real-life situation involving exponential functions, exponential growth, and exponential decay. This y is the final number of bacteria. This y sub o is the initial number of bacteria. This two means double. It depends upon the problem if it is triple and so on and so forth. T, the small t here is the initial time and the big T here is the final time. Same as in exponential decay. In exponential decay, this means half. So meaning this one is decaying and this one is growing. Let's have these examples. Number one, at time t equals zero, there were initially 20 bacteria. Suppose that the bacteria double every 10 hours. Give an exponential model as a function of t. So therefore, we will be using the first one, exponential growth. So this is y equals y sub o 2 because it says here double and then t over big t. So your initial number of bacteria here is 20. So therefore, this is 20. Take note that we are asked to give an exponential model only. So 20 multiplied by 2 t. And then it says here 10 hours. So that is 10. So this is now the exponential model. That's it. For number two, a certain radioactive substance decays half of itself every five days. Initially, there are 50 grams. Give an exponential model for this. So easy, decaying. So that is y equals y is of zero. It's half. It says here half. One. So this is one half t over big t. So therefore, y is equal to initial how many? 50 grams. So this is one half small t and then that is five days. So this one is the exponential model. Another real life situation involving exponential function is by using the compound interest. And this is the formula for compound interest. A equals P quantity 1 plus R raised to T. A here is the final amount. P is the principal amount. R is the interest. And T is the time. So here in this problem, it says here, Emily deposits 10,000 in BPI, which pays 3% compounded annually. Define an exponential model for this situation. So, see so this is A equals P1 plus R raised to T. So, we are just asked to give an exponential model for this. So, A equals, that is 10,000, the principal amount. 1 plus, we know that 3%, 3% is equivalent to 0 0.03. So, that is in decimal form. So that is 0 0.03 raised to T. So A now is equal to 10,000, 1.03 raised to T. So this one is the exponential.